So OnePlus launched their 11R in India at 40,000 rupees. And at that price, it looks like a great value smartphone. But OnePlus had to take some interesting decisions in order to sell the OnePlus 11R at that price. And in this video, let's talk about it. So first, let's unbox the 11R in both the colors and give you guys a quick color comparison between the Galactic Silver as well as the Sonic Black. And then let's talk about what's good with the OnePlus 11R, what's new, and what are some of the corners that have been cut, some of the compromises that have been made, if any, and everything else you need to know about the OnePlus 11R. This is your one-stop shop. This is Yusuf Lai from TechDroids. And these are my two cents on the OnePlus 11R. Let's get started. Starting off with the unboxing, the box itself is very similar to last year. You have the 11R branding and the OnePlus logo. Opening it up, you have this small box inside of which you have a free silicone case, which is good enough. You can buy a better one later, but just for the starting few days, this will get the job done. And here's how the phones look with the case on. Moving on, you have some documentation. So again, quick start guide, a welcome letter from the CEO of OnePlus, safety information, and a SIM ejector tool. Next up, you have the phone itself. Take the plastic off and it reveals this really nice black finish. This is the Sonic Black color. And next up, the accessories. Your charging adapter, which is the 100 watt SuperWoop fast charger, and also the signature OnePlus Red USB Type A to Type C cable for charging and data syncing. So that's pretty much it in the box. And this will be the same for the Galactic Silver color as well. So we won't be unboxing that phone separately. But again, the color will change. Everything else will remain the same. Now, talking about the color comparison itself, here's the two phones next to each other. So with the unboxing out of the way, let's talk about the OnePlus 11R itself. And OnePlus has nailed the fundamentals with the 11R. Great display, great performance, good cameras, a good design, and great battery life experience. And everything else can take a backseat. And we'll talk about those interesting decisions in the conclusion part of the video later on. But let's start off with the performance and specifications. OnePlus 11R comes with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 CPU from last year, which is a few months old. You've also got 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, 128, 256 gigabytes of storage, no expansion, and a 5000 mAh battery that can charge 100 watts with that SuperWoop charger that is included in the box. So 100 watt fast charging with a 5000 mAh battery, which means you'll get great battery life. But if you do run out of battery on your phone, you can charge it up really quickly. And talking about the performance on this phone, 11R flies through everything that you can throw out it, like gaming, video editing, or photo editing, and even just normal day-to-day -day tasks like emails, browsing the internet, going through social media, watching videos and movies, YouTube, all of that is gonna be fun, fast, and snappy in my opinion. Multitasking is also great. And as I said, you can use this 11R for gaming as well, since it has a 120 Hertz refresh rate display. Also, the charging is great, like 100 watts fast charging and that 5000 mAh battery, so you'll be able to play your games for longer in my opinion. Now talking about software experience, the 11R comes with Android 13 and on top is going to be the combination of Color OS as well as Oxygen OS. And I don't want to lie to you guys, this is not stock Android. This is not the Oxygen OS of the past, but it's not that bad. It's not as bad as you guys might think it is. It's still decent, you can use it, it's fast, it's got some extra features that you might like, and the bloatware, you can get rid of it, like you can manually uninstall stuff, but yes, they have included certain apps, like a browser, you know, aside from Google Chrome, that is their own, so you can use it or you cannot, totally up to you if you guys like it or not, but there is a lot of customization and things that you can, you know, personalize according to your taste. The software experience is gonna be decent, but software updates is gonna be great. OnePlus is promising three years of OS updates on the 11R, which in my opinion is really good because it comes out of the box with Android 13, so you'll be guaranteed an Android 16 update in the future. So in terms of future-proofing, 11R is really good. Now talking about the display on the 11R, you've got a 6.74 inch AMOLED panel. This is a 1.5K resolution or Full HD Plus technically, but it's a really high quality panel in my opinion. 10-bit, 
HDR10 Plus compatibility, as well as 1450 nits of peak brightness with 120 hertz refresh rate. This is no LTPO panel, there's no variable refresh rate or anything like that, but this is a really high quality AMOLED panel, which is gonna be giving you good colors and it does support sRGB as well as display P3 color gamut. It's gonna get bright, sharp, deep blacks, which is what you expect from an AMOLED panel. So gaming, watching videos, watching movies, and you know, going through social media, scrolling, just using the UI of the phone itself. Really smooth and really good panel in my opinion. And I had a really good time, you know, watching some videos on this phone. So in terms of the display, it's a good job done by OnePlus and I do give this display a big thumbs up. It's really nice. And there's also a punch hole cutout for the selfie camera as well as a underneath fingerprint scanner. So in display fingerprint scanner, which is fast enough and accurate, and it will get the job done in terms of biometrics and security. Now let's talk about the design and build quality. Here's where some of the interesting decisions do come into play with the 11R. So the design of the OnePlus 11R is really good. It looks very similar to the 11, the more premium flagship this year, but the build quality is slightly different. So the plastic frame on the OnePlus 11R compared to the metal frame on the 11. The side of the phone is completely plastic and there is no Gorilla Glass protection on the front but there is Gorilla Glass 5 on the back. There is no IP rating on this phone and you have other phones on the market that will give you Gorilla Glass Victus 2 in terms of protection. But let's say you use a case and a screen protector with this phone. The case is included in the box and you'll have to buy the screen protector you know, separately from a third party seller. Then you don't really actually care about the Gorilla Glass protection, either on the front or the back, and water resistance. I actually don't really care about the water resistance on my phone because I'm not putting my phone through a bucket of water every day. So in everyday day-to-day -day use, you know, for the user, it's, it's not a big deal breaker. It doesn't really matter. And this is a smart decision in my opinion. They're not compromising or cutting corners in a place which can actually affect the you know, experience of the user, but build quality and design and these things can be you know, cut down to cut cost and give the user a great value phone. And that's what OnePlus has done here. But they've also brought back the alert slider as well as the IR blaster, which is a really nice feature in my opinion. Both of them really handy. The IR blaster can help you, you know, control your TV or your air conditioner in your home. And the alert slider is very handy in my opinion to you know, go through all the sound profiles really quickly. Now moving on to the interesting decisions, there is one in the camera department as well. Now talking about the cameras of the OnePlus 11R, you've got a triple camera setup on the back, a 50 megapixel main sensor with a f1.8 aperture and OIS, this is the IMX 890 sensor, a flagship sensor in my opinion. And you've also got an ultra wide camera that is eight megapixels with a 120 degree field of view, no OIS and f2.2 aperture and a two megapixel macro camera with the f2.4 aperture. Again, no OIS here as well. And this macro camera is very situational. I have never used it personally on my phone and I don't think a lot of people use it. Not going here with a telephoto camera, you know, does explain that they're trying to cut costs, but this macro camera is kind of gimmicky. But the other two cameras are actually very good. The main camera can do really good photos and videos, 4K 60 FPS, and that's a really nice spec in my opinion. The front camera on the 11R is a 16 megapixel shooter with f2.4 aperture again, 1080p videos here as well. Now the video quality and the photo quality from the 11R is good from the main as well as the ultra wide angle camera, but it does tend to overexpose in certain you know, situations. So if you do dial in the exposure manually by yourself, then you'll have a really nice detailed sharp photo with good colors, good saturation. And if you give the phone enough light, it's gonna do a good job. There is a dedicated night mode on the OnePlus 11R as well, which you can play around with to you know, get some good low light shots as well. Videos and photos look good from the 11R. Now, I hope you guys like the camera samples. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. All right, so now let's talk about the color comparison. There's two colors with the OnePlus 11R, Galactic Silver and Sonic Black, and both of the materials feel the same. Now, the black one does have this more textured look to it, but it doesn't feel any different. It doesn't feel more grippy in the hand. I held both the phones, the silver as well as the black. They felt the same, and they'll react the same to drops and scratches and just day-to-day -day wear and tear as well. So I'd recommend you use a case and a screen protector with both these phones, both the colors doesn't matter which one you get. And it'll come down to your personal preference. Which one do you like? Do you like the classy, more elegant black or do you want to go with something like the Galactic Silver? And that's the color comparison. I hope you guys like this color comparison that I do in my videos. It's just to help you guys out decide which one to get. Now, let's talk about conclusion. Should you buy the OnePlus 11R? And as I said, OnePlus has prioritized the fundamentals, the five pillars of a good smartphone, design, camera, display, performance, and battery life. They've nailed it. Everything else has kind of taken a back seat. No IP rating, no metal side frame, no Gorilla Glass on the front, and They've done that. They've done a good job in making the phone feel functional and usable on a day-to-day -day basis. 
and it's a good experience in my opinion. The camera is not the greatest, but it's not bad either. It can do a good job and the display is good, the performance is good and the battery life is amazing on the 11R. All the other things are not huge deal breakers. If you do want them, you can upgrade to their more premium flagship, the 11, and spend the extra money. But for 40,000 rupees, the 11R is really good. And I feel like we're you know, seeing the old OnePlus come back. This is the OnePlus that we wanted to see. This is the OnePlus from back in the days, you know, OnePlus 3T, OnePlus X, just giving sheer value, good performance, and the best price. And finally, after a long time, I can happily and confidently recommend a OnePlus phone. The 11R at 40,000 rupees is a big thumbs up. If you do decide to buy it, buy it from my links, it helps the channel out. And if you're in Bangalore and want to buy it offline, you can check out the Forum Mall store in Kormangla. I'll leave their address and contact details down below. They helped me, you know, get the phone for the video. So big shout out to them. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Like the video, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be there replying to you guys, whatever your thoughts are about the 11R. But with that being said, my name has been Yusuf. You guys have been awesome, stay awesome, keep smiling, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.